first of all, I have to say that I'm a Christian. Um, everything that I do obviously expands out of that. Um, I'm a wife, second of all, so that affects, again, everything that I would do. And then, I guess, third, and third, I would have to say that I'm an artist. And I enjoy painting, um, a bit of acrylics and watercolor. I also do graphic design invitations, um, social media management. So graphic design also falls into that. Um, if it is that I have to do cover photos or profile photos for the uh, Facebook pages or the Instagram pages. Um, yeah, and I like to dabble in a bunch of other things, so, but those are the main things. For painting, I would have to say my inspiration is usually just nature, as well as um, just knowing that I have the natural talent. Um, it's something that I don't want to go away or to waste. Um, if it is that I've been given a talent, I really want to expand on it. And I really enjoy painting just naturally, so that would have to be my favorite. For invitations and graphic design, it was something I kind of more fell into. I guess I had the natural talent, but I wasn't as interested in it. Um, but other people obviously saw that and then they would come to me and ask and out of not wanting to say no or just to expand um, my artistic skills a little more, I would have dabbled in it and it kind of grew on me as well as um, being an avid Instagram user, I would have seen other um, artists and graphic designers as well and the stuff that they were doing was something that really drew me in. So I wanted to try that as well. Um, interior design, this is going to be really funny but I grew up playing Sims. Um, <laughs> so I built a lot of houses, started really, um, you know, just simple houses, but not exactly the best. And that kind of grew and grew. And then eventually after school, I did an interior decorating program uh, with Barbados Vocational Training Board. And well, it kind of blossomed. I was like, okay, this is it. <laughs> so I really got into that, got into interior design from there. Um, social media management, well, I'm, always on the computer, always on the phone, so that also kind of fell on me. I was working a normal 9 to 5 job before and I kind of fell into doing their social media, so after I left I just continued to do it. And it's obviously something that I continue to do as a business owner because you do want to promote yourself as well. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, well working at the 9 to 5, even before I was there I was actually doing my own thing. So what I found is that, you know, I spent a lot of time giving effort and everything that I had to this job that wasn't necessarily something that I knew I was going to be interested in for the long term. And then um, obviously the only time I would have had to work on my own art would have been maybe after I got home from work, but you know, you still have to eat, bathe, do all those kind of things. So I found it to be really stressful and I wasn't enjoying it as much as I enjoyed doing the things that I had going on at home. So that's kind of how I fell away from that. When I started doing my own thing, I realized a lot of opportunities opened up. Having more time as well meant that I could also develop my skills more. Um, and then, I mean, I know some people might be scared on finding clientele and, you know, finding your niche and everything. But honestly, once you have that time and you can just continue to practice, you don't have to go into selling right away. Take a week, two weeks, maybe a month just to develop and see what it is that you like. Try different things. And then um, you can promote yourself on social media, which is completely free. Um, word of mouth works in Barbados really well. So just speak to some friends, show them your work. Um, obviously, you don't want to work for free forever, but you can do a couple projects for friends, put your signature, your logo on it, and get the word out there. And that is something that I did. Um, I worked on my own invitations for my wedding and I put my logo on the back and obviously um, it was a passport because my husband is into um, aviation. Um, so other people having seen the invitations after I dropped them off to my friends, um, that really helped me get some clientele as well because they were like, oh my goodness, who did those and can she do this for me? Um, yeah, and then social media as well really helps because obviously you can use hashtags and whatnot to kind of um, get a particular type of audience. and you can reach people there as well. So, yeah. Um, they're obviously not people many people would know about because um, I did a lot of research and the people that really stuck out to me were the ones that I guess had a similar art style or something that I could find myself being more attracted to where I wanted to develop my art. 
as well as people who are doing similar things to me. So um, one of the artists um, that I'm really interested in right now, who has been really inspirational for me, um, is an artist in Arizona. Her name is Paige Poppy. She's actually the same age as me, which I find amazing. Um, she has her own brand going. She has her own website. Um, she does prints as well as original artwork. And she has really been progressing and getting a lot of clientele. Um, she has a YouTube page as well. So I've just been following her there and just seeing her progress has been really inspirational to me because I'd also like to sell originals and prints. Um, I currently have my own website. So just seeing the way she has things set up um, has really helped and knowing that she's the same age as well. Um, there are a couple of other people, um, Kendall Hilligas, I think is how you pronounce her last name. Um, she is on YouTube. She does um, graphic design as well as prints. Um, and it's not particularly her style in the way she draws, because she draws a lot of um, food products. But what intrigued me most is just the quality of her work and the style that she lays out, even down to her video covers. Just that natural, clean, streamlined kind of look is something that really um, intrigues me. So I find that those two right now have been really inspirational to me. Um, well, first of all, the advice that I would give is to just, just do it. Um, honestly, a lot of time is spent considering, okay, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Um, am I really going to enjoy this? Um, the truth is, you can plan something out perfectly in your head or maybe think about all the different ways in which it could go wrong. But unless you actually put your hands down on that paper or that sculpture or whatever it is that you plan to work on, you're never actually going to know for sure how it's going to turn out, if you're actually going to enjoy it, if this is something that you actually want to spend your time doing. Um, so I would say just go ahead and um, honestly, yes, you want to work towards what society is interested in to a certain extent because you do want clientele, you don't want to create art that no one's going to buy. But at the same time, um, it's not art unless it's personal. Um, to your specific um, style and who you are. Um, so it's kind of finding a balance between what people want to an extent, but still being true to yourself and keeping your ideas um, basic. So I would just say um, it might take a little um, playing around just to see what it is that might actually be selling or that you might actually be able to sell that's still interesting to you or um, not extracting you from the art completely and just doing what someone else wants. Yeah, creativity is a big part of running an art business, but at the same time you can't neglect the other um, features that are a part of it as well, as well as other talents and skills that you will have to grow, which is learning how to be your own boss, not to be negligent or just, okay, well, you know, I have all the time in the world to do this, so whatever, I'm just going to go play outside <laughs> and come back in and do this later, you know. Um, you have to actually give yourself structure um, and it's going to take a while for those things to come. I'm still struggling with them. Um, obviously, I didn't study accounting or um, principles of business and all that kind of thing. So asking questions as well, looking for other um, entrepreneurs or people who are possibly interested in the same things you are. Um, just speaking to them, getting to know what their process is like helps you as well. And if you can even do a collaboration of some sort, that really helps too. Yeah. Well, obviously art has to do with expression, um, human expression, and it has to do perhaps with creativity and imagination to some extent but also just um, creating things that are beautiful um, for people to enjoy. Um, they, it can also touch on perhaps political or even just dealing with issues in um, your social situation, um, which is something that I, I really enjoy from other artists being able to um, you know, actually touch on matters that are important um, from their art. I'm not sure if it was something that I would actually delve into, but I do find it interesting. Um, and then mainly just um, for me personally, um, the talent itself, just being creative um, in that word, in that, um, the whole idea of, you know, 
you know, doing things is needs if we create from nothing, but we'll just produce from what we've already been given. And that to me is kind of a reflection ultimately of the grand creator. Um, so for me, it's a blessing for people who do have that talent, uh, which is why I said being given that talent is really something that I'm inspired to use just knowing that I have it and it's not something that I want to put away. So um, obviously being able to reflect God in that um, small way is for me the biggest definition of art. <laughs> Stylish dog. Yeah. It doesn't look too crazy, right? With all this wind. Okay. I think the wind is gonna do that though. <laughs> Shut up! I know I'm awkward. Hazon family, if you guys liked that video and would like to see our next set of crazy talented artists in this season of Love Art, then hit the subscribe button below. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and visit our website listed in the description below. Keep up to date with everything Hazon.